Today is going to be a compilation. I'm doing this because I feel like people like the outfits more. And to save time, these tutorials will be as short as possible. First we're getting how to program basic book. So the first step to get this book is redeem these codes. To redeem codes you want to go to this setting icon and I'll leave these codes in the pinned comment as you can just copy and paste these codes. Once you're done with that, you want to come to the shop with the new bear. Once you're in you want to go into the shop and look for strange goggles. Craft it and it will automatically be equipped. Once you've done that, you want to go to the red cannon and behind the black bear, and there will be something that looks like your goggles. Then once you look inside the computer, there will be a bee who shows you some symbols. If you don't catch it you can look at it as many times as you want. Also I would like to recommend if you want to remember the symbols, you might want to write it down or write it on a notepad. Next, you want to go to the dandelion field, it's the field that's the closest to the noob shop. Now the numbers you got, you want to make it on the field here. All you have to do to make it the symbol you got you want to just hover over it and click to change the symbol. There will be four symbols you want to have, so you want to do all sides of the field. To know you did it right, there will be some happy music and four smiley faces. Once you've done that, you want to go back to the computer and talk to the bee again. Nani? Now the bee will be around the sunflower field or the mushroom field. The bee will be showing three new symbols. You want to do to the sunflower field and put down the first symbol. Same for the mushroom field and put down the second symbol. And finally same for the clover field and put down the last symbol. Once you got all that done, the music will play and the faces are back. Then you want to go back to the B, and he will be back in his spot. The letters you get are the fields you go to, I would also recommend writing them down. Then go on the fields, in order you got and go around clicking on it until a symbol pops up. Also you want to take down the symbols you got. After you got that done you want to go around the fields and get the symbols and make sure you get the symbols you got and write it down in order. Here is the codes I got from the fields and make sure you get them in order. Then you want to go to the blue field and put down the codes you got. But you have to change it to the code you got as it's randomized so keep clicking it until you get the code you got from the fields. Once that's done you want to go back to the B and claim your prize. So there we go we got our prize. Next we're getting Rick's boombox. When you spawn in you want to spawn in a car and make your way to the radio tower. So open up the map and click on radio tower that's marked on the map and it will give you the guide to it. So past the radio tower there is this building which is what we are looking for. So you want to enter it and see this vending machine, and you have to click on these items on the order I put on the screen. Once you do that this desk will open up, and you want to stand in it, and wait for it to go down. Now that you're here you want to run across this corridor and see some goggles on the ground, purchase it as it's free. To equip it you want to click on the phone, pawn lab AR goggles with the Bluetooth icon and press on. Here's what you look like and once you have it on you want to reset. Once you're here, you want to equip it again. And now the screen will be green and this is how you know it is now properly working. Now that we have these on we want to make our way to the farm area, it will make sense when we get there. So when you're here there is normally a floppy disk here, it's a green thing that shines. But I already collected it, and now we need to collect 7 more. Now we have to go to the sea dash, and it's where all the crates are like dropped off. The floppy disk is like around there. So where the sea dash is, it's around this big red shelter thing. So yeah it's here, you wanna go the to bright red crate, and in there will be a floppy disk in there. 
Now you want to mark your place on the beach, again it's not there it's just around it. Once you're at the beach there will be this brick wall, and there's this large building, and there is a floppy disk in there. Next we want to make our way to the race track that's at the bottom of the map. It's at the bottom of the giant billboard. So the next one is a bit difficult to explain, but it's around the edge of the city. So you want to be in between these two buildings with the big blue circle and drive forward. And it will be on your left. Hopefully that makes sense as the place where the floppy disk is placed is not marked on the map. Next you have to go to the camp place it's in the middle of the forest. Now we have to make our way to the apartments and fire station. So you want to go to the fire station and pass this other building, and there will be a floppy disk in a garage. The final location of the floppy disk is in Mountain Loop. It is right here and is right up this cane, and is halfway up, but not all the way up. Now you want to make your way to the building past the radio tower. Now that you're back here you want to do that code thing again, and make your way to the place with the goggles. When you're here, you can go into this room now, and there will be a spiral staircase, and you can just jump down. Once you're in the trainway station, you want to go the side with all the dirty green stuff. There is this very hard obby. Now you just have to make your way to the other side. When you're past the sewage water you can spawn a car and make your way across. Once you're at the other side you make your way into this room with the computer. On the computer you want to put in the code 1985. That will allow you to go into the rocket, then you just sit in the seat and you're done. Finally we are getting the chaotic top hat. When you're in, you want to make your way down this path and down a bridge, and there will be a red gem behind a tree. Which is right here and you want to walk over it, just to let you know it doesn't make a noise. This next one is behind a wall, it's the yellow one. It is right in between these two wedges, or whatever. Next is the purple slash dark blue one it's in the forest that's next to it. Again, just walk over it, and the next one is in the water that's under the bridge, and it's the cyan one. So right under the bridge, and it's in like a hole, and you have to swim, but don't worry you don't have a air bubbles so you can't drown. The next one is the white gem, and it's like on the hillside to where the bridge is. It's here like near the tree that's above the giant creator, and the next one to get is the purple gem. And we have to go across sea for this one. It's right behind this giant rock wall, and next to this giant metal gate. This final one is going to take some parkour skills, and the location for it is in the Minecraft mineshafts. You want to get to the rails part, and in this grey door, there will be a green gem, and again run into it multiple times to be safe. Once you're out of the cave you want to go to the gate that's where you got the cyan gem and opposite the bridge. The code you see on the wall is what you type onto the pad on the gate.
Once you're in there will be a bit of parkour it won't be that hard. It doesn't matter if you die on the obby as you won't lose any lives, you just have to restart. My tips on fighting the boss is to spam your attacks, as that's going to be the most effective also getting close. And hitting him with you spam attacks to give extra damage. Once you defeat him you'll get the badge, and you have the chaotic top hat. If you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Share this with your friends and family, and I'll see you guys next time.